if you have solar panels, if you're thinking of getting solar panels, especially if you're thinking of a DIY system, please watch this video. There's something in it for you. It's the last day in November and the sun is shining and it's fantastic. Um, these two panels are part of a kit from EcoFlow, which I propped up against the heads a couple of days ago. It took me about 30 minutes, are generating power very nicely. And at this precise moment, they are producing 260 watts in the winter sunshine, which is more than the base load of your average house. I have seven other panels up on the roof and these two are working seamlessly alongside them. It makes me so happy on a day like this that I am denying money to British Gas and I'm denying money to the government that taxes our energy. This is the EcoFlow dual microinverter. One panel connected here with these two cables, the other panel connected here with these two cables. The bit I didn't make clear, out from here is the 230 volts, the mains voltage. And it just literally plugs into, normally it would be a wall socket or whatever, but in this case, I've just plugged it into an extension. Now, another thing I maybe didn't uh, explain very clearly. I'm going to unplug it. Okay. Now, you may think the sun is still shining on these panels. The microinverter is still working away here. There'll be power on this. Isn't that unsafe? No, it's not. The architecture of these microinverters, in fact, all the inverters you have in a house, are to prevent ever putting power into a system if the power has gone off. So you may think you've got a solar panel system and if the power fails externally, unless you've got a special system, the average system installed on a house and a DIY system list just turns off. So these microinverters have to be approved and they have to prove that they do this. And the basic design architecture makes it impossible for the power from here at the moment to appear here. However, as soon as it's connected back to 230 volts, it will start generating power and feeding it back out. As simple as that. It is already generating power and putting it back into the grid. The grid, in this case, being our house. 310 watts at this moment going into the house. 